All right, so I wasn't able to watch this yesterday, but we got a new sneak peek um, for the Mammoth Fruit. I have seen the pictures of Mammoth on Twitter that have been posted, and I believe there's also a little video posted on Twitter, but we haven't really seen all of its moves yet. Um, It looks good, but it really looks a lot like Dragon's um, X move and transformation. Um dragon claw i think that's what it was um that's not like a massive problem but it just looks it looks a little too similar in my opinion it's basically just the the fruit version of that sword move colossal crusher it looks like that could actually have pretty good setup for combos it doesn't look bad so far i don't know if it's going to be overpowered i don't really pvp but this move looks like it would have pretty good combo potential Okay, it's a jump attack. That's the distance you get when you fully charge it. What's it like uncharged? Okay. So I'm wondering if this thing's going to be broken or not, but you won't really know until you see this in PvP, I guess. But okay, that's pretty cool. I'm just, I'm looking at it. It seems, it does not look like a bad fruit. I don't know if it's going to be top tier or not. I hope not. I, I'm so sick of the meta. That, that's pretty interesting. That is, that is what you would expect this, like a fruit like this to do, you know, the charge and it makes the fruit feel pretty tanky. I think, I think they got the tankiness of the fruit down. What the hell? Okay. I was, okay. This is definitely one of the things I was curious about. I was really curious about how this fruit would do mobility wise and i i honestly did not expect them to just straight up give it just the gepo and dash which i mean i guess i should have expected that because i'm be honest the ability removing the ability to dash and like gepo and transformation that that would make the transformation useless to use no one would use it so i mean they kind of had to implement this all right, you got a little SmackDown animation. They did a pretty good job in making the fruit seem pretty heavy. Okay, M1 is kind of like Leopard's. It's probably going to have a lot more range, definitely. That AoE also looks more bigger. Okay, that is like... All right, not even like Triple Dark Blade has like shoots that many, I think. Or maybe it does, but no, I think it shoots like three for Triple Dark Blade. This is like... Damn. It's like five of them. You obviously can't shoot it twice, but... Wait, can you? Wait, there's no way... That shoots twice. Oh. So you get... You get the, the normal three, which already has a pretty decent hitbox, and then you get another row. Okay, that might be pretty powerful. Yeah, you can hit this in the air. Look at that. Hold on. Let me go, like, frame by frame here. Yeah, so if you use this in the air... This is, this right here, this is how much, how much of a vertical hitbox you have. I don't know if it's, if the, like, the collision box on that is, like, exactly like this, but I didn't even think about the PvE aspect of this fruit. Um, I wouldn't say there's anything negative about the trailer. I'm not exactly, like, blown away or anything, but it looks good.